Okay, so picture this. You're walking down the street in Austin. Maybe you're headed to grab some tacos and you see a Tesla Model Y just cruising by. No one in the driver's seat. Like literally, nobody. No driver, no safety backup. Just empty. And it's not a prank, it's not a movie set, it's real life. That's where we are right now. Tesla has actually started running its robotaxis in the wild, on real city streets, with zero humans behind the wheel. I mean, if you'd told me this five years ago, I'd have said, yeah, sure, maybe in 2050. But here we are, 2025, and it's happening. So let's talk about what's actually going on, because there's a lot of noise out there. Some folks are hyped, some are freaked out, and a lot of people just want to know, is this thing for real? Is it safe? Should I trust a car to drive me home from a night out? And honestly, those are all super fair questions. But before we get into the details, if you're into tech, cars, or just curious about how the world's changing right under our noses, you might want to hit that subscribe button. I'm always diving into the latest stuff, and trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. All right, so back to Tesla and these driverless cars. Here's the deal. They've rolled out a small fleet, like we're talking maybe 10 to 20 cars to start with plans to ramp up to a thousand if things go smoothly. Right now, it's just in Austin. And it's not like you can call one up anywhere in the city. They're sticking to certain neighborhoods, places they've mapped, out and tested a ton. Think of it like when Uber first launched and you could only get a ride in a handful of cities. Except this time, the car shows up and there's no driver to chat with about the weather or how bad traffic is. Now here's where it gets wild. There's literally no one in the driver's seat. Not even a backup driver, which is what most other companies have done. In the early days, Tesla did have engineers riding shotgun, just in case. But the whole point now is to see if the cars can handle the real world all on their own. They do have people monitoring everything remotely, though. So it's not like the cars are totally on their own. If something weird happens, someone at Tesla HQ is watching and can step in. But let's be real. This is a huge leap. Most of the other companies out there, like Waymo, which is Google's self-driving car thing, they spent years with safety drivers, then slowly eased into letting the cars go solo. And even then, they use all sorts of sensors. LiDAR, radar, the works. Tesla? They're doing it with just cameras and some seriously advanced AI. It's kind of like if everyone else is using a Swiss Army knife and Tesla's like, Nah, I've got this one really sharp knife and I'm going to do everything with it. It's bold, maybe a little risky, but very much Elon Musk's style. Now, if you're wondering, how does this even work? Like, what's stopping the car from just not seeing something? That's a good question. Tesla's betting big on their full self-driving software, which is basically a supercomputer brain that's been trained on millions of miles of driving data. It's supposed to recognize everything. Stop signs, pedestrians, cyclists, dogs chasing frisbees, you name it. And it's learning all the time. Every Tesla on the road is feeding back data, so the system keeps getting smarter. But here's the thing. Just because the tech is cool doesn't mean everyone's on board. The government is definitely watching. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, if you want to sound like you know your acronyms, they're all over this. They want to know exactly how these cars work, what happens if something goes wrong, what the backup plans are, and local officials in Austin. They're asking questions too, like, what do we do if there's an accident? How do first responders deal with a car that has no driver? It's not just about the tech, it's about making sure everyone's safe. And honestly, that's the big question, right? Is it safe? So far, Tesla's been running these cars for a few days with no incidents, at least according to Elon Musk. But it's early. They're sticking to the safest parts of the city, and they're watching everything super closely. If things go well, they'll start adding more cars, maybe even roll out to other cities like San Francisco or L.A. But if something goes wrong, you can bet regulators are going to slam the brakes. Now, I know some people are probably thinking, this sounds awesome, I hate driving in traffic, sign me up. And yeah, the idea of just hopping into a car, 
telling it where to go and chilling while it does all the work. That's pretty sweet. You could catch up on emails, take a nap, whatever. But then there's the flip side. What if the car glitches? Out? What if it doesn't see a kid running after a soccer ball? Those are real concerns. And this is where Tesla's approach is so different. See, Waymo and some of the other companies are super cautious. They use a bunch of different sensors, and they've spent years testing, slowly expanding where their cars can go. Tesla's more like, let's just do it. Let's learn by doing. It's kind of like the difference between someone who reads every manual before building IKEA furniture and someone who just dumps out the box and starts putting things together. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes you end up with a wobbly bookshelf. But to be fair, Tesla's not just winging it. They've got a ton of data, and they're working with regulators, even if it sometimes feels like they're butting heads. And the fact that they're starting small, just a handful of cars in a limited area, shows they're not totally reckless. They know all eyes are on them. So, what's next? If the Austin experiment goes well, Tesla wants to expand. The plan is to get up to a thousand cars in Austin, then start looking at other cities. But it's not just about the tech working. It's about proving to regulators, to city officials, and to regular people like you and me that it's safe. That you can trust a car with no driver to get you where you need to go. And honestly, this is bigger than just Tesla. If they pull this off, it changes everything. Think about it. No more worrying about parking. No more DUIs. Maybe even fewer. Accidents overall if the cars are better drivers than humans. But it also raises a ton of questions. What happens to all the people who drive for a living? What about privacy? Are these cars recording everything? How do we make sure the tech doesn't get hacked? There's a lot to figure out. But let's... Zoom out for a second. Remember when ride-sharing first started? Uber and Lyft totally changed the way we get around. Suddenly, you didn't have to own a car or call a cab and hope it showed up. You just tapped a button, and a ride appeared. This feels like the next leap. Only now the car shows up, and there's no driver at all. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, except it's actually happening. And yeah, there's going to be bumps along the way. There always are with new tech. Remember when smartphones first came out and everyone was worried about texting and driving or whether you'd get lost if your GPS glitched? Now we can't imagine life without them. Same thing here. It's going to take time for people to get used to it, for the tech to get better, for the rules to catch up. But if you're in Austin, keep your eyes peeled. You might see one of these Teslas rolling by, no driver, just doing its thing. And who knows? Maybe in a year or two you'll be able to call one up for your morning commute or to get home after a night out. Just don't expect to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your driver about the best barbecue in town unless you're cool with talking to a dashboard. So, to wrap this up, here's what you need to know. Tesla's running driverless robo-taxis in Austin. No safety driver, just AI and cameras. It's a small rollout for now, super. Closely watched by regulators and only in certain parts of the city. If it goes well, it could be the start of something huge, not just for Tesla, but for how all of us get around. But there are still a lot of questions, and a lot of people, watching to see what happens next. If you're as curious about this stuff as I am, seriously, hit subscribe. I'll be keeping an eye on how this plays out, and I'll break down the latest updates so you don't have to wade through all the tech jargon and headlines. Plus, I love hearing what you all think. Are you excited about driverless cars or does the whole thing freak you out? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's talk about it. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out and geeking out with me about the future of driving. Whether you're ready to trust your life to a robot car or you're still clutching your steering wheel for dear life, one thing's for sure. The roads are about to get a whole lot more interesting. Catch you next time.